Yo guys, what's up? Episode 38 of Beasts of the Wild today, and we're going croc hunting, but first, let's lay some cattle. The spitting llama is down, but I really want an alpaca, because its hide is gonna get me a lot of money on the black market. And hunters have to eat as well. I can't sell that one anymore. I'm looking for another alpaca, but sadly, there's only a single llama left. Again, I'm filled with spit. 4VO, back to Canada. Not for the moose this time, a friendly one this time, le caribou. You can say reindeer, but the Canadians prefer caribou. There is a population of caribou throughout the year in Canada, so wolves, bears and hunters are never facing hunger. So what we learned about Canada so far is that they really have a few species of wildlife that can mess you up badly. And the reindeer is no exception. It's like a mini moose. And like I said, Canada has plenty of them, so they will never run out of supply. Good to know. Again, 4VO with a victory this time. Off to China, where I will give you 10 seconds to guess. It has long hair. It cannot stand people who are smoking. It lives in the Himalayan mountains in Central Asia. Johnny Knoxville got attacked by one in a movie once. Which one is it? That's right, the domestic yak. And because it's domestic, it can easily walk a flight of steps in your house. No problem. It even knows how to use a wall for cover when getting fired upon, but the AK-74U cannot be tamed. I'm doing a test to see if it's worth playing with and better than the AK-47. I hear another one making noise downstairs, calling out for help. Check it out. Less yak and more yaks. I do like the colors on this map, gotta say it. Again, 4VO, but a defeat. We need to slay one more goat species on Bog. It's taking its sweet time to get announced. Smoke. Grenade. There it is. The Nubian Ibex. This one lives in Egypt and is a lot smaller than regular ones. The bees or Ibex who lives in Turkey is the largest one, but this one doesn't come close to it. No, the Nubian Ibex can be compared to a common goat, not to a Capricorn with mighty horns. But if you are small, you are agile and fast, you might have more chance for survival. Not. Of course, where there are preys, there are predators. The Egyptian asp or Egyptian cobra is the most common one in this part of the world. It's completely black and of course venomous. It's attacking my teammate, so I assist the poor bastard get him down and my heroic actions for saving my teammate are rewarded with an airstrike. I'm dropping it at the back of the house where the Nubians are spawning at this moment. One Ibex dies in the blast. We switch back to normal vision and throw a grenade to make sure not to get bum rushed when out of nowhere a baby Nubian Ibex comes over. Isn't it cute? But I want my chopper. I call in the support but as soon as I do that I see the red birds of doom. I'm not sure where to run, but it doesn't matter. We're already dead. If it's not a grenade, it's an airstrike. 7v1. That's it. We're going croc hunting. After we picked up the rotting goat carcasses from my backyard. One that goes ape for rotting goats is the Indian gharial. What's a gharial? An alligator with a very long, thin snout. This one, it's not that easy to explain. Technically, it is a crocodile, but the mugger is also seen as a gator more than a crocodile. He also lives in India. 4VO and a victory. I seem to have skipped one of the kills, I'm sorry. Let's do some arcade gaming at Gibbon Sports Bar, and I would have never thought I would see the day where one of the monkeys actually climbs into that bird nest. For the rest, it's evasive tactics, and if you get fully blinded by these gibbons, just start shooting to get a blind assist. It's amazing. What a skillful map. If you need a tip for a good hideout, try out this one right here. In the red boot, not the blue one. That's gonna kill you. A full match on Kill House completed. A win and 2VO. I'm happy. I think we're ready for the last hurdle. Catching crocs in the African desert. I got my spawn base marked with bodies of dead rotting goats. And the Nile crocs happen to love them. No KFC for them. They prefer FRG. Fintrolls rotting goats. I picked up an extra SMG. Yeah, boys gotta eat. Cancel that one skin. The baby Nile crocodiles are pretty fast. They can escape 
if you don't pay attention. But the older ones, they are lazy. What's going on? Bam, sold on eBay. That's what's going on. I quickly relocate to my previous hideout because I'm starting to get woozy from the smell. That's why I need these croc skins to pay for the new storage room in my backyard. Grandpa Nile Crocodile is the last one to leave the nest, so I just post myself in the nest for the rest of the match. 6 VO and a defeat. Still, we only got killed once today. So that means, yes, a 15 KD. Hallelujah. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.